A new study finds that many cosmetics sold here in the U.S. and in Canada contain hidden toxic chemicals known as PFAS. Now, two senators just introduced a bill that would ban the use of these chemicals in products. Board-certified dermatologist and our dear friend, Dr. Whitney Bow, joins us now with what to look out for. So, Dr. Bow, tell us what is the concern here? You know, these, these chemicals, these researchers, they studied over 200 different cosmetic products that they purchased both in the U.S. and in Canada, and they specifically looked for PFOS. So PFOS are man-made compounds that are often added to cosmetics, you know, to actually help them stay put. So you can find them in things like mascara, long wear lipstick, because they resist moisture, they resist water, so they add to what we call the staying power of a cosmetic. But the same properties that make them so desirable in cosmetics are actually what causes concern when it comes to our bodies and comes to the environment. Because, you know, Robin, these, this class of chemicals, they don't break down. They've been nicknamed forever chemicals because they accumulate in our tissues, they persist in our environment, and these researchers, they found concerning levels of these fluorinated compounds in a number of different products, in, in foundations, lip products, eye products, mascara, and Robin, what I found especially concerning mm -hmm. about this study was that a, n a number of these products, they didn't even list these ingredients on the label. Oh, that, no, I know, I want to ask you about that, but first of all, uh, talk a little bit more about what are the health uh, concerns associated with this? Yeah, so we don't know exactly how much is absorbed through the skin and can enter the bloodstream. And the FDA hasn't set an exact limit when it comes to safety. But what we do know is that anytime you apply an ingredient close to the eyes or on the lips, there's an increased risk of absorption of those ingredients because the eyes and the lips are made up of something called mucous membranes. Those are very thin, delicate, moist tissues that more readily absorb ingredients. Also, when you apply a product to your lips, you know, think about it, you're licking your lips mm. throughout the day, right? So you're potentially even ingesting some of those ingredients. Mm. And Robin, these, these, these chemicals, they're ubiquitous. You know, they're in our soil, they're getting into our water, water supply. So, you know, we're ingesting, we're coming into contact with these chemicals potentially throughout our day. And there are concerning studies linking this entire class of compounds to certain types of cancers, thyroid disease, liver toxicity, and even reproductive issues as well. But Dr. Bo, as you just said a moment ago, manufacturers are not required to put this on the label. I know you're always stressed you know, and, right. and others, you know, read the label, read the label, but if it's not even on there, what can we do to protect ourselves? Exactly, so knowledge is power, and I'm always telling my patients, you know, pick up the product, turn it around, read the ingredient list. In this case, if there is an ingredient that starts with per floor, that's a red flag. But as you just said, a lot of these products aren't even listing these ingredients on the label. So, you know, an extra added precaution might be to just limit your use of cosmetics that claim to be waterproof or long wear or long lasting. We gotta keep that in mind. As always, Dr. Bo, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And for more from Dr. Bo, you can head to our Instagram page at Good Morning America. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.